Um, I thought I'd read to you some, some new poems um, that also look toward this idea of what is heaven on earth. And um, earlier this year, I found myself reading John Locke because <laughs> I was editing a paper about his second treatise. And I don't know how I got through all of my college years without knowing that John Locke's idea of government was based in large part on the Garden of Eden and in which ways that we have this heaven on earth. So um, my new book is going to be in discussion with clouds. There's a great um, series of poems uh, by an Indian poet where the poet sends a cloud to uh, give a message to his beloved who's on the other side of the mountain. And I became very intrigued with the idea of uh, sending a cloud into the future or in, into another space to deliver a message. And then that way, you know, a cloud is like a poem. A poem is a message in the bottle. Um, so. The arrival of the cloud messenger. Some questions are problems. Some are just mysteries. It unfolded like this. When I was young, a cloud spoke to me through my bedroom window into the planetarian of my dreaming. Stay tuned, it said, there will be many messages, but only one cloud. I am not a triune character. The cloud told me to keep watch on the gate, remember to watch for malware viruses, to be careful about who or what is allowed to enter the imagination. Remember, clouds arrive to children because they believe and like to shape shift and stare at the sky, interpreting elephants, finding meaning in the silence of cumulus. Wait, I said, because I was lonely and wanted to know the right questions to ask. There was only mist. I liked the smell of rain. I was beginning to think, which meant I was beginning to wonder about meaning. And like a great wave returning out to sea, my cloud messenger began to leave, saying, I'm being pulled away by the birds now. The mother of dawn's coming. Think of your grandmother's kiss, the cloud said. When you are kissed by life, let its lipstick remain on your cheek, always to remind you that you are loved.